Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, I am taking the SwellPro Dronar Fish Finder out into the waters to see how it works. So basically, it's a sonar detector for fish. You toss it in the water, and it gives you an image of what is in the water below this item. Now it is designed for the Splash Drone 4, you know that big drone I take out a lot of times in all environments and it can land in water. It's designed for that. However, it is also designed for someone who just wants to go fishing. You got a fishing rod, you go fishing. Now here's the funny thing. I thought I had a fishing rod, but uh, my fishing rod is this really old Amazon thing. So I'm gonna try to cast it out in that water just to show you a demo of it. And then after I'll connect it to the Splash Drone 4 and uh, show you working with that all right before we get started let me quickly show you what comes in the box this is the box your fish finder comes in and these are the specifications inside the box you'll receive a support card and a link to the app for ios and android as well you're going to receive an awful lot of fishing line just in case you want to connect it to your fishing rod or to your splash drone 4. The fish finder is a solid waterproof unit and it does have a nice little blinky red light when it's in operation. On the side of the unit you're going to find your connection for fishing line and on the bottom of the unit you're going to find your connection for the included USB charger. This is like a 3D movie, look at, woo, far close. <laughs> Anyways, I've got the drone hour attached to the end. I know I've attached it really poorly. Uh, this whole fishing rod is the wire is discombobulated. <laughs> there we go. Nothing's working right, I got a sec. All right, I'm gonna have to do this with two hands because this here handle is busted. I gotta miss the weeds here, so uh, let's cast it <laughs> without hitting the ground too much. There we go. All right, so I take out my cell phone now. This is how it works. And I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi shooting off from that. The Wi-Fi I want, shown on my phone here, is Dronar whatever 01. And then you just open the app, the Dronar app. It's that simple. You could be 260 feet away and it should still work if you're just standing on shore. Open up the Dronar app and then it should turn red or something. There we go, red. And then I go enter and it's going to start giving me details. What's below my little Dronar out there? So here, let me look at it with my... Uh, my hat cam it's over there so on the screen there's a pile of information so i'll try to tell you what the information is here all right let me get over here so on the top left you see the 1.1 meters that's the depth and i have everything set in meters down below that the temperature of the water the 77 percent is the gain i have it on you can set it in the settings if you crank the gain up you'll see more detail but you know it's gonna get a lot of noise so we're only 1.1 meter in depth over there that's nothing i don't see any fish i see a bunch of red dots happening so it's scrolls from right to left the information let me show you the settings here so you have auto depth range that's what we have there's the gain at 77 percent sonar or scene if you put it on scene it looks pretty like this and let me just click over here so let me close that there we go it looks like that you see a little like you're under the water and stuff it would show you the fishies going by but there's no fishies there so we'll go back out of that then when you go to setup you have your system for metric fish alarms you have off big fish medium fish big fish or big fish medium and small fish so i have it on big medium and small so that means it's more sensitive to the tiny fish as well fish symbols i have them on and off depth alarm i don't need that because i haven't set it for anything a battery alarm if the battery gets low in that thing it goes for an awfully long time no worries there and then for advanced you can play with the noise filter if you're getting too much noise you know from weeds and other stuff in the water surface clarity off or low and then display colors white blue or gray and then your language is pretty cool isn't it so as you can see i've just given you an overview of the potential of this item right, let me bring this back in there we go I pulled it out and it's a big mess of weeds now obviously if you are a fisherman you're gonna do this properly and cast it away out there or off your boat or something in a place where there's fish and you're gonna see all the results you need to see so to recap really quick it only goes on when it's in the water so you can carry it in your tackle box and it's off but when you put it in the water it turns on automatically the battery life is really long and the other thing to make note of is that it has a little red light that flashes so if you're fishing at night you will see it out in the water it's got a nice nice little red light on it that blinks uh not super bright so it shouldn't scare the fish or anything it's not one of those colors that would scare them away it's pretty decent that way and the last thing to mention it does work with the splash drone 4 however i have tried it using an ios app like an apple phone and it kind of doesn't work the way it's supposed to you're supposed to open both apps at once and switch between them so I sh i'm supposed to have the drone R app open and the splash drone 4 app and i could switch between them you know like on an iphone it's too easy it doesn't work it doesn't connect properly so i literally have to go cancel the Wi-Fi open the other one cancel the Wi-Fi open the other one so I was told to try it on Android and Android it does work but it's hit and miss so I get it working every now and for a little bit and then it stops and then it keeps working so I just go back and 
open the Wi-Fi on one and close it, open the Wi-Fi on the other. Over here with the Splash Drone, I have the Dronar Swell Pro Fish Finder and I have a little fishing line attached to it. They do give you an awful lot of fishing line, like meters upon meters upon meters, but I've just got a little short extension here because I don't want it to go too far off from the drone. So we're just going to keep it short for this demo. So underneath the Splash Drone, right over here, hopefully my GoPro picks it up. That is your attachment for doing anything with a payload, such as, you know, catching fish, putting fishing line, anything like that. So what you have to do is get your hands over here, ready to get it in place, and then press the payload button, opens, and then let it close, and I think I got it. There we go. So it's a little open and close latch system controlled by your remote control. Very good. So we're ready to fly. All right, let's take our splash drone up. My hat cam should be able to film it. It's behind this rock. I'll start up the motors. There we go. It's a little bit on an angle, but uh, hopefully it gets enough GPS with this tree and stuff. But let's go up and see. Looks good. Now I'm going to pull the drone R up. Coming up. There we go. Go backwards. There we go. And now let's bring it over this way. <laughs> Got a pendulum thing happening here. I have to make sure all the cameras see it so I can't go too far out. So I'm going to stand over here, let the other camera see it, and I'll go back a little bit. I just want to show you how it works. I'll bring it down. So say we were far, far out in the ocean or something, you just put it down in the water. There you go. You can land your splash drone as well. Then you go to the app the Dronar app and you'll see all the information. And there we go, enter. And now I see, oh, hang on a second, I got the Dronars out of the water, I gotta bring it down again. There we go. And now I should see where it is in the water floating there. I'll bring the drone down a little lower too. There we go. So now you see it and it says we're in 1.3, 1.4 meters of water. Now I can drag it around and drag it backwards, drag it in the water. Say I was doing a scan of the area. I don't know if the oh I don't know if all the cameras can catch this, so let me just go this way so they're in view. There we go. I'm dragging it around, and then I'll drag it around the other way. Keep it lowered to the water. There we go. And you can get a scan of whatever you're searching for, a pattern. And you can record everything in the Dronar app as well. All right, let's bring it back. Fly over us here quickly. And going over. And going for a land. I gotta come down slow so it doesn't get caught in the fishing line here. Let me just pull it out of the way. There we go. All right, so that was the Swell Pro Dronar Fish Finder. You do not need to own the Splash Drone 4 to use it, but if you have the Splash Drone 4 and you connect the Wi-Fi from this to the Wi-Fi of the app of this, then you can go out over one mile in distance. If you don't do that, then you're stuck to, as I just did here, to about 260 feet. That's about as far as you get. So I'm going to put links below to this product. Go check it out. If you're a fisherman, you're probably going to love it. Or if you're searching for buried gold underwater, you're going to love it as well. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will catch you in future videos with many more cool reviews like this. Till then, bye.